Hello everybody and welcome to the world's fastest super speedway, Talladega, Alabama for the Aaron's 312 NASCAR Nationwide Series race. And for us this is our second Nationwide Series race and right off the bat I'm going to be honest, um, you know last year we ran the full Nationwide Series schedule so I'm really, I don't have any kind of points or any kind of who's won what this year, who's won that since Really, I'm focusing primarily on the cup schedule, but I am running a few um, selected nationwide series races. This is one of them we did run at Daytona. I think we were third in that race. Um, we're definitely going to do the July Daytona race, and I think I want to try to add a couple of other tracks in there, like the Charlotte. I'll, basically, it's going to be to be announced. Um, I do have thoughts. I'm not... This is not edged in stone, but I am thinking about it as we look at Austin Dillon in the three car, uh, possibly once again running a full-time schedule in the Nationwide Series, but it probably won't be until maybe next season. Still haven't made uh, my mind up on yet, so trying to find the next young hotshot gunslinger to uh, put in the car. Um, probably another fantasy driver, so I gotta come up with a name to see if I decide to do that full time. And also, there's also Kyle Busch in the Monster Energy Toyota, pretty sharp looking car. But still haven't thought of a young gunslinger yet to see who I wanna put in. You know, we'll probably plan it as we go along, but in the coming weeks or coming months, I'll probably make up my mind if I do wanna do it or not, or just run a few selected races. And here's my paint job right here, the US Navy Impala looks pretty sharp it's the first race that we have with that and we're starting all the way in the back we didn't qualify well we got our set up a little race really well so we'll see what happens it's 38 laps and the field is rolling off of pit road and I'm gonna scroll up here the starting lineup I didn't do anything special for starting lineups for this one as I do for the cup series um, you know don't have a whole lot of the driver's faces, kind of ran out of time, so it's just a scroll right here to see who it is. And of course the cup one I have all, you know, have my own custom made. But we have an onboard view right here with Austin Dillon, who is the pole center for this race. And he's looking back at Brad Keselowski, Elliot Sadler up on the top side, and then we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the five. Hellman's car, which always has been one of my favorite paints games. So as they are headed down the back stretch, it is an overcast day here at Talladega. It's supposed to be in the 70s. Slight chance of showers, so hopefully we can get this in before any rain will interrupt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out and I'm going to let you enjoy the sights and sound of Talladega. And if anything happens, of course, I'll break in and I'll also be here at the end of the race to go over the recap. And we look ahead to tomorrow's or the next race, which is the cup race, the Aaron's 499. Enjoy. Thanks.
Double outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Hold your line. Outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Hold your line. Outside, three wide, two of them outside. Outside, three wide, two of them outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Outside. Work your way to the front. Outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Outside, outside. Still outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Still outside. Still outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Outside. Caution down, caution down. Caution down. You take the yellow on the next pass. Watch for debris. All clear. Still outside. Big ring on the back stretch. All clear. There's a spin in turn three. Hey, how close the pit? You better watch that slider. One of the fence in turn three. Caution is out, buddy. Caution is out. Roll out of the throttle. Line up behind the 12. caution the big one on lap six and the 88 of Cole Wet goes around a bunch of others Ryan Truex in the 20 and we just got through that you see Clement in the 51 going around the 40 of Chase Miller and you see the tail you see Casey Kane he's also involved <clears throat> Cole Witt looked like on the replay that he tried to make it four wide and try to make a hole that was not there. I see Michael and Nick getting hit right there. As we take a look at an aerial view. Yep, Cole Witt tried to make it four wide and made contact with the 30 of James Busher. And there are very few single car wrecks at Talladega and this was not one of them. see looked like at the tail end Mike Wallace in the 01 and Morgan Shepard in the 89 with some damage on board Dan and Patrick Grab back and down get down to the bottom get down to the bottom there she did a right, good job of holding no this just gets by it and here will be the telltale sign on board Cole Witt Either he tried to make it four wide or James okay. Busher tried to make it four wide. Just nowhere to go, just all off. smoke for everybody. And we take a look at it in the last view. And very early on in the race, we're only six laps in and mayhem already. Yeah, I see the 44 Mike Bliss and Boz the wall, he got into it. Carl Long in the 70 spinning around. So we get through it. And this is a pretty big wreck. Uh, counting 15 cars, we just had added Morgan Shepard into that. Michael Annette, Casey Kane, Ricky Carmichael, Joey Logano had part of it. So we are about to go back to racing. And it'll be lap 11 once we get the restart. So I'll step out and let you enjoy the sights and sounds of Talladega. And I will jump back in if anything breaks out. If not, we'll 
see at the end, and hopefully we can pull off a win in our U.S. Navy Chevy. Outside, 
inside. Still there. Hey, you drive like a fucking old lady. Still outside. Hey, this is no time to be waving at the fan. All clear.
building here. Still outside. Three wide, two of them outside. Outside. Still there. Clear height. Inside. Still there. Still there, inside. Still there. Three wide, two of them inside. Hold your line. Hold your line. Inside. Three wide, two of them inside. Three wide, two of them inside. Inside, three wide, you're in the middle. Hold your line. Inside, inside, three wide, you're in the middle. Three wide, two of them inside. Inside, three wide, you're in the middle. Outside, three wide, you're in the middle. Clear low, buddy. Still outside. Clear high. Outside. Still outside. 
side. Feel the air. Feel the air. Oh yeah, baby, you're back out in front. Feel the air. Player high. Those are good laps, buddy. Great food. Just be nice and patient.
all the way to the line. Fuck yeah, baby! Awesome job, guys! Good job, boys! Way to go, driver! Honor. What a race car! Everybody back at home, thank you, Chevy. Good job. pick up the victory here at Talladega a pretty fun wild finish the race we hold off on the gaggle cars and get the win and we're going to take our little car a little spit of the grass and get a burnout and head to victory lane a pretty exciting race I really enjoy I really love the pack race too. it was a pretty wild day it just seemed like you had to get up there and block whatever lane was coming and they were coming at a fever pitch and it shows this kind of race as the great equalizer it really is and you saw tom um all sam and the 19 car he came home second and a lot of tough right lanes there the car was up there so it's an exciting finish to say was just one caution was just that big rest Junior kind of faded back. He was up there for a little bit. He's not coming up 13th. And we take a look at the rest of the field. Row. The guys at the bottom of the list, all the drivers are involved in that big 15 car crash early on. So the big question is can we pull the sweep tomorrow and win the Aaron's 499? I want to take the time again to thank everybody for all the loves and likes and support and we had just recently surpassed the 330 sub um, right about the time that this video was recorded um, again it really really makes my heart happy that everybody uh, you know for all the love and all the comments and the fact that people are enjoying this really makes me happy so I, it makes me it just motivates me to really want to come more out there and that's what I'm going to keep doing and I'm going to as long as I can do I got ideas for other content I want to pump out as well. So we'll see. Just stay tuned in the coming weeks. And uh, I'm going to take a uh, sign off here and we'll say goodnight to everybody. And thank you all. We'll see you again. Bye.